Hello there! This video was heavily inspired by one of Dexpo's recent documentaries, The Disturbing Art of AI, where he mentions this experiment conducted by the girl who talks to AI. As we can see, the video begins with an artificially created image of a woman, an image that slowly starts to distort as more of the modules used in its development are being deleted one by one, therefore simulating the effects of dementia on a computer. By the end of the video, the AI seems to completely forget its own creation. What if we could actually visualize the process of dementia on a human? To be more specific, how would the world look like from the perspective of an artist suffering from dementia? In the 1950s, Oscar Jenniger, psychiatrist at the University of California, selected about 1-200 artists whom he administered LSD and other similar substances in order to see how an altered mind would affect their creative process. The study began in 1954 and lasted for about 7 years, period of time in which over 250 drawings have been made, and these were the results. 20 minutes after the drugs were taken, there seemed to be no visible effect on the subject, therefore having no effect over the drawing. 85 minutes after the first dose, I can see you clearly, I'm having a little trouble controlling the pencil. This is what the artist told the researchers. 2 hours and 30 minutes after the first dose, the patient appeared focused on the drawing but the drawing itself seemed more vivid. 2 hours and 32 minutes. It's not a very good drawing, is it? 2 hours and 45 minutes. The patient is not really coherent anymore and his behavior is fairly chaotic. 4 hours and 25 minutes. The patient seems to slowly come back to his senses and after 8 hours the effects were totally gone and the drawing turned out to be pretty similar to the first one, what it was originally meant to be. It's incredible how these same substances that alter the functionalities of the brain can have an equally great effect on the art created by the patient or, better said, a great influence over the capabilities of an artist to lay down thoughts on a canvas. Brian Lewis Saunders uploaded his own experiment on his website, a collection of self-portraits he created while being under the influence of multiple drugs. According to him, after experiencing drastic changes in my environment, I looked for other experiences that might profoundly affect my perception of self. So I came up with another experiment, where every day I took a different drug or intoxicant and drew myself under the influence. Within weeks I became lethargic and suffered mild brain damage that wasn't irreparable. Of course, needless to say, nobody should perform such experiments without proper medical guidance, which Brian uses now in order to continue his experiment safely. As for Brian, he was lucky. Lucky that the brain damage could be reversed, which is usually not the case for many people who become victims of dementia or Alzheimer's disease unwillingly. With that being said, William Watermelon is a name that must be mentioned. Born in 1933, William is well known for the tragic end of his life rather than the work he created over the years. There were many series he published during his lifetime as a painter, such as The Mythological, The Cantos, The Mummers, The War, The Nudes and lastly, The Conversation Pieces, a collection of paintings illustrating his home life, a life he shared with his wife Patricia, a peaceful and happy ambient that would sadly come to pass. 
Patricia was able to see changes in the conversation pieces that led her to believe something was wrong with William. In 1995, Patricia's feelings were confirmed officially by a doctor. There was something wrong with William. He was diagnosed with Alzheimer. Once William heard the news, he created this painting entitled Blue Skies, depicting himself alone, sad, holding on to a table as if not to fall through the open ceiling window into nothingness, emptiness. The doctor also told Williams to keep track of all these changes in his brain, changes that were about to come, by creating self-portraits, and so he did, not knowing that these paintings were going to be part of his most successful body of work ever created. These are, chronologically, the paintings created from that point forward. William is depicting himself as being indulged in sadness. The colors appear to slowly disappear out of sight. They become darker, heavier, as if to illustrate the last bit of hope fading away. From 1997, his mental health worsened, the paintings becoming more and more disturbing. Slowly, bit by bit, the artist is losing himself, with the disease becoming so harsh having such a toll on him that after the year 2000 it seems as if his whole talent was taken away from him. Even though he died in 2007, his wife Patricia said that for her, William died once he was no longer himself, once he couldn't create anymore. Dementia is a recurring nightmare for many people, waking up knowing something is wrong with you, but not knowing exactly what. The background music you heard from the very beginning of this video is also related to this subject. The Caretaker published this album everywhere at the end of time. 50 songs with a total length of 6 hours that are meant to display the stages of dementia. How the disease evolves from the moment you find out about it, the moment it makes itself present within you, until all that is left are fading memories. Silence. Even though you've probably heard most of today's episode stories on other channels, I would like to end this video with the same quote that the caretaker used on his website. The advantage of a bad memory is that one enjoys several times the same good things for the first time. Thanks for watching.